So, from here, the easiest thing for you to do is the easiest thing for you to do is to solve the edges. The step right here is to solve all of the edges and two of the corners, leaving three of the corners unsolved. However, this is where the branches are, three branches. This one branch is very easy, and these two branches are pretty hard, so I choose this one branch. And what this branch is, is you solve the corners first, and then solve two of the, or you solve the edges first, and then you solve two of the corners separately. And I choose that because I'm, because I'm not good enough to do the other one. And so basically what you're going to do, is you're going to put this edge in here, but do it creatively, so that in the process, you reorient, you permute these edges. So, as I look at the top, and I plan out what I'm going to do, I notice that what I have right here is a red solved, and none of these are solved. Then I have a blue solved, none of these solved. Then a green solved, and none of these solved. So, it's going to be kind of hard. So what I'm planning on doing is moving what am I going to do? I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. What I'm going to do, since there's no good course of action from here, is I'm going to hide this piece that needs to go in and swap something out and see where that leaves me. Uh -huh. So that leaves me right here. I have these two corners next to each other, or three, these two edges next to each other that are solved and this one that is not solved. So easily from here, what I can do is I can hide this one that's not solved, flip it in so that this edge is solved, or so that I get this edge down, and unhide, and then just flip it back, and I have all of the edges solved. Similarly, in this case, I can have these two edges across from each other solved, and this one not solved. So I hide the not solved one, put in the edge that needs to be put in, and then flip it back. And I have all of these edges solved. From here, you have three, you have five corners, probably. You might have gotten lucky, but you probably have five corners that are not solved. And so what you're going to do is solve them with commutators. And if you don't know what a commutator is, then you don't need to be watching this video. Or if you don't, then you can... I guess I'll make a video on commutators. But basically, you just want to commutate it. Um, ideally, you should be able to solve two with one commutator and three with another. But I have a lot of problems with doing that. I just can never seem to get it right. So I usually use three. One to solve one, another to solve another. And then the last three with all of them. So let's see what I can do here. Well, here I can solve two with the first one. Um, if you can use a neat glass to solve these two right here. You see, I put this one here and then put this one here. And then that leaves me with this where you have to conjugate it. Yes. Yes, conjugate it. And that's it. Um, I guess I'll make a video on commutators now.